Hi everyone. Today in my presentation, I'm going to talk about circulatory system. What is circulatory system? It is made up of blood vessels that carry blood away and towards the heart. Now, what is a heart? A heart is an organ that controls blood flow in the body. It is made up of cardiac muscle tissue. Now coming to what is the function of the heart? So this is a motor pump which is used in India. We connect it to the water tank. It helps to bring the water all over to the water tank and it is supplied. It helps in pumping the water all over to the water tank and it is supplied to all parts of the house. Same way, heart acts like a pump of our body. It supplies blood to all parts of our body. Now coming to the parts of the heart. We can imagine that this is the heart. It has two atriums and two ventricles, right atrium and left atrium, right ventricle and left ventricle. Atria receive the blood and ventricles pump the blood. Now coming to the size and location of the heart. You can imagine the size of the heart as like size of the fist. Close your thumb and the four fingers and that is the size of the heart. It is 14 centimeters long and nine centimeters wide. Now where is the heart located? Heart is located just behind the sternum. Now wh wh where is sternum? These are the rib cages. So the mid bone, bone in the center of the rib cage is called as sternum. The human heart is located just in center behind the sternum and slightly tilted towards the left. The apex of the heart is tilted towards the left. This is the apex and this is the broader part which is called base of the heart. Now, one in 10 million people have heart tilted towards right. It is a disorder, it is called as dextrocardia. Now coming to working of heart. So let me show you this picture. Yes. So this is the right atrium. This is the right ventricle. This is left atrium. This is left ventricle. This is pulmonary artery. This is pulmonary vein. I have mentioned this in my previous lectures that artery carries pure blood and vein carries impure blood. Except pulmonary artery. This artery carries impure blood or deoxygenated blood, whereas pulmonary vein carries oxygenated blood. Now, blood enters the heart through two large veins. One is superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. This is the inferior vena cava, this is the superior vena cava. So blood is entering the heart like this into the right atrium. It is emptying oxygen pure poor blood from the body into right atrium of the heart. As the atrium contracts, the blood enters right ventricle. And when the right ventricle, it is completely filled with blood, this valve is called tricuspid valve. The, let me show you. This is right atrium. This is right ventricle. This is tricuspid valve. This is bicuspid valve. This is superior vena cava emptying blood into right atrium and inferior vena cava emptying blood into right atrium. So when the blood, when atrium contracts, the blood flows into right ventricle. And when, once the right ventricle is full, this valve closes. So basically this valve acts like a door. Let me explain once again. So these are the four parts of our heart, right? This is right atrium. This is right ventricle. This is left atrium. This is left ventricle. Now, the door between right atrium and right ventricle is tricuspid valve. And the door between left atrium and left ventricle is bicuspid valve. Now, this is superior vena cava and this is inferior vena cava. Okay, so blood is entering from superior vena cava and inferior vena cava 
these are two large veins and they they are carrying oxygen poor blood from body into the right atrium of the heart so once right atrium contracts the blood flows from right atrium through to right ventricle how does it flow this door needs to open so tricuspid valve opens and it helps in the blood flow from right atrium to right ventricles once the right ventricle is filled with the blood this door shuts this will prevent the backward flow or as there will be flow of blood backwards we don't want that so again i'll repeat it once the right ventricle is filled with blood tricuspid valve is shut now this blood from right ventricle so this is all oxygen poor blood so this blood which is right here in the right ventricle it leaves heart through pulmonary artery and it goes into the lungs where it is oxygenated okay so i hope you guys have understood the working of the heart it's very easy so the oxygen poor blood is coming from superior vena cava and inferior vena cava it is going into the right atrium and right atrium as it contracts the tricuspid valve opens and then the blood flows into right ventricle once the right ventricle is filled with the blood the tricuspid valve closes and this blood from right ventricle passes through pulmonary artery and goes to the lungs where it is oxygenated so this is the working of the heart so there are some facts so if the heart stops beating for like 4 to 6 minutes of no blood flow the brain cells begin to die and after 10 minutes we would die and this heart is working it is functioning well because of the cardiac muscle do you know once your heart is outside the body how far do you think it can launch the blood can anybody guess actually it can launch the blood for 30 feet if you could line up all the blood vessels in your body end to end do you know how far would it reach it would actually travel 60000 miles yeah so now coming to how you can prevent heart attacks and strokes so these are the precautions which you can take one is you eat you have you lower your cholesterol to do so you need to maintain your weight as well as consume less red meat manage diabetes and high blood pressure weight management through exercise and maintain a healthy diet quit smoking cigarettes and by reducing stress so by doing all this we would have a happy heart so i hope you guys have understood the function of the heart and what happens when there is a what are the ways to reduce heart disorders thank you for watching please like share and subscribe